on the way. We've got some Santana, some Rod Stewart lined up, and right now on the telephones, Larry the Cable Guy. Good morning. What's up, Adam? Look at you turn that accent right on. Yeah, I can pop it on in a second. We're talking off the air. Sounds like a regular guy. Said hello on the radio. Suddenly, Larry the Cable Guy appears. One of the funniest comedians of our generation. You know him with the cut-off flannel shirts and the baseball cap with the fishing hooks on top. And now I'm seeing you all the time on television for that heartburn medication. Yeah, you know what? I'm a frequent heartburn sufferer. Uh, who would have thought that the way I take care of myself? Look, you don't got to be overweight to have heartburn. I know people that are perfectly healthy that still get heartburn because in the United States, we have the best food on the planet, and at some point, you're going to eat something you probably shouldn't eat, and you're going to start getting some heartburn. So, uh, Prilosec OTC, I actually used the product before I ever met these folks. And it's barbecue season, and you strike me like a big barbecue guy. I'm definitely a barbecue guy, a ketchup and a barbecue guy. I put ketchup on everything. I'm a sweet baby raised guy on everything. Yeah, that's some good stuff. You know, I found one the other day. And I don't know what it is. Well, first of all, I have my own barbecue sauce, which is fantastic, if I can brag on it. It's called Lord, I Apologize. It is so good, you have to apologize to the Lord. Going into a diabetic coma just thinking about it. <laughs> Larry the Cable Guy, so well before you hit the big time, I had known you in Albany, New York, working at a yeah, radio station there. PYX. And you would call in pretty much every week doing the grassroots thing. You had us rolling, man. Then when you finally met up up with Jeff Foxworthy and exploded in the blue collar comedy circuit. We're like, we knew him when. Yeah, that kind of got me kick started there uh, in, in nationally. But yeah, boy, those were some fun days. It's always funny how people say, well, he came out of nowhere. He's an overnight success. But you remember those days when I used to call, you know, I used to call about 27 radio stations across the country doing that every day, writing commentaries and and I worked at it. I mean, it was fun. So you were born and raised on a pig farm in Nebraska, but the accent that we hear on stage is a little thicker than your normal accent. You have some fun with it. And I remember years ago you told me how you had roommates in college from the Deep South, and just by making fun of them, Larry the Cable Guy was born. I had one roommate from Dalton, Georgia, and my other roommate was from Beaumont, Texas. And You know, you just pick it up. I defy anybody. To live in a in an apartment building with a guy from Georgia and a guy from Texas and not come out talking like him in about 10 days. <laughs> it's impossible to not do. So that's where I picked all that up. And it started out as just a fun little joke and a fun thing to do to make my friends laugh. And that turned into what it turned into. God bless America. That's what I say. Larry the Cable Guy, before I let you go, you can't beat zero sweepstakes. Tell me about it. That's right. You can't beat Zero.com. Go on there right now. Register. We're giving away $1,000 every 14 days this summer, culminating in a grand prize at the end of it for $10,000 in cash. It's a great deal from Prilosec OTC. Great to talk to you again, and thanks a lot for getting up early with us. You got to get it up. <laughs> 98.9 ORCFM. When you listen to your